Good morning, boys and girls. Picture this, the year 1994. My local newspaper ran an essay competition about your hero. I submitted my essay, and two months later, I found out I was the winner. Subject of my essay was prisoner number 46664, Mr. Nelson Mandela. 1994 was also the year Mr. Nelson Mandela was released from prison after fighting an apartheid regime. And I remember in 1994, everyone glued to the television to see him came out. The Nelson Mandela spent 18 years on Robben Island uh, alongside with his many comrades. So happens today, we are going there. Ferries depart for Robben Island from the Nelson Mandela Gateway at the VNA waterfront starting at 8 a.m. You better make sure you get there early as the boat does leave on time. And once you get on board, your buses will be waiting for you and so is your tour guide inside the bus. Serve as the main prison for all colored anti-apartheid male prisoner, Robin Island opened to the public just months after the last prisoners was released in 1997. So the first thing they showed us was the Robin Island limestone quarry. This is where Nelson Mandela and his fellow prisoners slay daily to get the limestone out. But he and his fellow prisoners use their time in the quarry to educate themselves in everything from literature, philosophy, history and current event. What a great use of time, huh? And we're off to the quarter where all the staff used to live on Robin Island. Can you believe it? There's actual residents here who work for the prison mainly. And look at this little guy here. Apparently, they're crawling all over Robin Island. This species of tortoise is called angulate tortoise and it's the only species endemic to southern Africa. It has striking markings on its beautiful shell which is used for protection. And look how lucky we are to spot the rare African oyster catcher. There are only six thousands of them left. They mate for life and can live up to 35 years. The island provides shelter and safe haven for nearly 132 species of birds, including some endangered species. I'm glad that this area is protected by South African law as a nature conservation area. And we even spotted a spring ball. And our last stop is, of course, the maximum security prison here on Robben Island. And to greet us is our tour guide, a former prisoner himself, spending seven years on Robben Island prison. He quickly lead us to literally the prison, where he showed us a picture of the last prisoner to leave Robben Island in 1996. Since 1961, maximum security prison was used by the South African government for political prisoners and convicted criminals. The most famous of them is of course Mr. Nelson Mandela. The prison was built to accommodate general population criminals in gang dormitories and isolation cells for special inmates who generally were political prisoners. In theories, dormitories were designed to accommodate about 40 prisoners sleeping on bunks. In practice, up to 140 inmates were crammed into each group cells without beds but giving thin mats. Only after the Red Cross intervention in the 1960s and 70s did the inmates get decent blankets and better mats and of course, finally, beds in 1980s. And our tour guide proceeded in showing us a typical identity card on Robben Island. Here, your name ceased to exist and you are only a number to the prison guard. 
And a little bit on our guide, he joined the South African Student Committee when he was in university and protested against the educational board because of the apartheid system that was enforced in all schools. We were now led to the courtyard where the prisoner crushed the stone carried from the quarries. Can you imagine working under the sun for hours just crushing stone? Political prisoners of the apartheid government were kept in single cells as I mentioned earlier. Like the one opposite, generally for 23 of the 24 hours day unless you are assigned to work crew in the lime quarry. Nelson Mandela, the head of the anti-apartheid black movement, is the island's most famous prisoners. Following his return to South Africa from a conference in Ethiopia, he was arrested and charged with illegal exit from the country and was sentenced to life sentence in Robben Island. All right, that's the end of the tour. I am out of prison. What an experience. I think everyone should come and see this prison, which is filled with extraordinary stories of heroism. And I think what I learned is the process of reconciliation. And as Gandhi said, an eye for an eye really makes the whole world blind. I hope Everybody come and see this place, explore this place, and know the evil that was done to these men. As Nelson Mandela say, there's no such thing as half freedom. Stood up for your right and never ever let anyone take away your dignity. Thank you for watching. Stay free.